Hi guys! Are you struggling with limited Ethernet network coverage in your home or office? Wish you could extend your network beyond 100 meters mark? Today in this video, I'm going to unveil the secret of extending your Ethernet network beyond 100 meters barrier using the PoE extender and a PoE injectors. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below, and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. So Ethernet network have a distant limitation that can restrict the reach of network connections. Traditionally, the Ethernet cable are limited to a maximum distance of 100 meters. That's about 328 feet between devices. However, this limitation can be overcome with the use of a PoE extender. Now, a PoE extender is a device allowed for extension of power and data signal over the Ethernet cable beyond the standard distance limits. Now, it works by receiving signal from a PoE switch or a PoE injector, and then amplifying and retransmitting it to reach a greater distance. This can eliminate the need for additional power source, and also it can simplify the installation and reducing costs. So this is the classic PoE extender. It can extend both power and data signal for an other 100 meters. However, today I'm going to introduce you a brand new PoE extender kit. Now the PoE extender kit includes a PoE extender and a PoE injector. The PoE extender is an economic and convenient solution to extend the data transmission for deploying devices over 100 meters and even up to 500 meters. And it is IP67 waterproof rated, so it can work under harsh environment in outdoor application. And also with the plug and play feature allows you for quick installation and support up to 100 megabit per second data transfer rate. This is the 30 watts PoE injector. We're going to use this injector to power up our PoE extender in order to transmit the data. It can support up to 30 watts of power output and 1 gigabit per second Ethernet network speed. So with the kit, we actually have two different usages. So now let's move on and I'm going to show you the method one of using the PoE extender kit. So this is the method one of our PoE extender kit. So you can see we are extending the data signal for another 100 meters. So total we have 200 meters Ethernet cable. And in between we have the PoE extender and two routers at both sides. Now we need this PoE injector to inject 30 watts of power into the PoE extender in order to work. So first, let's use a short patch cord here to connect the router to our PoE injector. We have the LAN port and the PoE output port. Make sure you plug it into the LAN port over here and using the Ethernet cable to connect with PoE output port. And it needs power to power up. So let's plug in the power outlet. This is 100 meter Ethernet cable. Let's connect it to our PoE extender. Turn to the back, you'll see input and output. Let's plug it into the input port. And as you can see, the indicated light is on. Now the PoE extender is getting power from the injector and also the data. And connect it with another Ethernet cable to transmit the data. I took the neck and the gland out for a quick installation. Come over this side, we are going to plug in the Ethernet cable to the router. So the whole setup is done. Now the PoE extender kit has extended 100 meter data signal. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and I'm going to show you the method to using the PoE extender kit. By using this method, we can extend the data transmission up to 500 meters. However, we'll need two pairs of them. One kit placing at the edge 
and one place at the main router. So without saying, let's do the connection together and I will explain it along the way. The router is already powered up. So I'm going to use an ethernet cable here to connect the router to the PoE extender first. Now let's turn over here. We can see input port and output port. Keep in mind, by using this method, we are going to plug it to the output port with the router. This is how we can achieve 500 meters data transmission. And we are going to use an other ethernet cable here to plug in to the input port to our PoE injector. Let's plug it in here. Now this PoE injector can inject 30 watts of power into the PoE extender, so it will work and send data to the edge. I'm using the 500 meters ethernet cable here to connect to the LAN port. This is how we're going to set up. It's pretty clear. Make sure you place an input port with the input port. Since I cannot find a 500 meters ethernet cable, so I'm using 200 meters plus 300 meters CAT6 ethernet cable. And let me use a coupler here to join them together. So now we'll have 500 meters in total. So when we come over to the edge, you can see we are placing the PoE injector at the front and the PoE stander at the back. So now we are going to plug it in to the LAN port here using an other ethernet cable to connect to the PoE output port with our PoE extender. So you can inject power to the PoE extender. Make sure you plug it into the input port. For the output port, we are going to use an other ethernet cable to connect it with the router. So now the whole connection is done and this is how we're going to set up for a 500 meters ethernet run using two pairs of the PoE extender kit. So remember, the PoE extender kit can provide two usages. The method one, we can extend the data distance for another 100 meters. For method two, we can extend the data distance up to 500 meters using two PoE extender kit. Actually, using this method can provide a more reliable Ethernet run because it does not send power along the way, only the data. So it's very stable. And thank you very much for watching us. If you like our video, please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And also you can share it with the friends or family who might benefit from it.